Hello, scholars. This is Ms. J. Williams for Leadership Development. Welcome to another wonderful week here at GLASW. Now, before we get started, we are going to say our leader affirmation. Now, all you have to do is just repeat after me. I am a great visionary. I am a thoughtful person who strives to inspire others with my words. I am always generous with praise and compliments. I am an inspiration to others because when I shine, you shine. And when you shine, we all shine. Very good, very good. So we're going to get into our lesson. And this week, we are going to talk about self-esteem and the high self-esteem versus low. So let's get started. Our objective for this week is I can gain an understanding about myself. So we want to talk about our, yourself and you want to have an understanding about yourself, Ashe. So let's talk about what self-esteem is. So self-esteem is a confidence and satisfaction in oneself. So what that basically means is you, how you feel about yourself. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel bad about yourself? I would hope that you will feel good about yourself because as a leader, you will want to feel good about yourself. Ashe, Ashe. So we're going to talk about the two types of self-esteem. We're going to start with low self-esteem. Low self-esteem means you don't feel very good about yourself. And I, don't, I hope that none of you feel that way. I hope that you will feel great about yourself. But scholars who with low self-esteem don't think they are as good as others. They think that other um, scholars or other people are better than them. And we don't want to think that because you are awesome and you are amazing. Another thing that scholars with low self-esteem think is they don't feel liked or accepted. So they think that people don't like them. They think that other scholars don't want to play with them or they think that other um, scholars don't want to be friends with them. So that's another thing that scholars with low self-esteem does. Another thing is they think more about the times they fail than the time they do well. Now, in this instance, you think about all the times that you did something bad, but you have to start thinking about the times when you did something awesome. Ashe, now we are going to go over and we are going to talk about the high self-esteem. This is the one I like. High self-esteem means you feel great about yourself. Scholars with high self-esteem, they have the confidence to try new things. You're trying new things out. You're not afraid to try new things because you're not afraid to fail. That means you have high self-esteem. They are more likely to try their best. Right. You always want to try your best at all times. You always want to try your best no matter what, no what, what nobody thinks. As long as you tried your best, you did, you did a great job. Another thing a scholar with high self-esteem has, they feel proud of what they do. Yes, you feel like you feel proud of the work you've done. You feel proud of the way you cleaned your room. You feel proud of the way you helped your mom and you feel proud about the things you do and you have that confidence. Another thing is you feel good even when you don't do well the first time. And that's where one of our jewels of the month come in, that's resiliency. That means you bounce back. That means even if you don't do it right the first time, you're gonna try again and you're gonna try again, which is our other jewel called tenacity. And scholars with high self-esteem, they make good choices. You always want to do the right thing. And that's, uh, that goes with another um, jewel that we have, integrity. You make the right choice no matter who's looking, because you always make the right choice at all times. We are going to look at a book called I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont. Now, in this story, we have a little girl who has really good high self-esteem. She feels good about herself no matter what. So we're going to take a couple minutes. I'm going to play it, and we're going to listen to it together. Today's read-aloud is sassy and soulful. 
This book is sure to inspire every child to embrace his or her own uniqueness. I Like Myself, written by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by David Catra. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild, I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast, I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all, it all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts, or with a silly snout that snorts. <laughs> or knobby knees or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips. Or beaver breath or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. So, what did you think about that book? Take a minute to talk to if your parent is near you or your sibling is near you, your brother or your sister, and just take about 30 seconds just to tell them what did you what did you think about that book? I think that book was wonderful. And the story, she her hair was a mess. She had polka dot lips. She had a horn for her nose. And no matter what was going on, no matter how she looked, she felt good about herself and she had high self-esteem. So you should feel the same way. Always having high self-esteem, always feeling about you, good about yourself, no matter what is going on. Ashe, Ashe. So now we are going to look at an anchor chart. So all about me. This is going to be your activity for this week. You are going to, one, you don't have to make it the chart the way I did. I just created it like this. But these are the questions that you're going to ask, answer. You can write it on your book and you can send it to me in a screenshot. But these are the five questions. First, you're going to tell me your name is. So make sure you write your name and also make sure you write your um, room number. If you're in KB, then write KB. If you're in 2C, then write 2C. So write your name. And if you want to, you can also draw a picture of yourself too. So the next thing is 
one thing you should know about me is. So I want you to tell me something very um, special about yourself, something that no one know um, about you, something that I wouldn't know about you. So one thing about you. The next thing is I am special because I know you have thousands of reasons why you are special. Just give me a reason why you are special. So Ashe, Ashe. The next thing, I am really good at. What are you really good at? Are you good at cooking? Are you good at basketball? Are you good at writing? Are you good at drawing? So tell me something that you are really good at. All right. The next thing, I like to play. What is your favorite game to play? What is your favorite thing to play? So that is going to be the fifth thing that you're going to write about. So these are the things that you are going to do for this week's assignment. Ashe, and I'm hoping to look at all the wonderful answers and all the wonderful um, descriptions about yourself. All right, so that is the end of the lesson for this week. So at the end of this lesson, you should have a better understanding about yourself and have a high self-esteem about yourself and feeling good about yourself no matter what is going on, no matter how you look or no matter what nobody say, just like the young lady in the story, I like myself. Ashe? All right. Thank you guys and have a great day.